Guys, so I'm going to show you how you can um, take apart um, an Acer C24, Acer Aspire C24, well, mine is an 865, but they're all similar, uh, a slight variation to them. Um, it, take it apart so that you can replace it with a, um, with a hard disk. Um, take out the hard disk so you can replace it with an SSD drive, sorry. So, um, First of all, what you want to do is you want to um, take out, what you want to do is remove this bracket. So to do that, it's got two Phillips screws on uh, one on each side. So you want to take out the rubber studs. Like so. Um, and then you've got, it's got, sorry, it's got two screws either side. So one, two, three, four. Um, so you want to do this. So yeah, so um, take out the two, uh, four screws. That's one. Actually, I'm going to go to the other side. That's two of the other screws somewhere inside. Um, take out the third one. I'm gonna hold it while whilst I whilst I screw the last two screws I've been taking, I'm gonna hold it just in case it uh falls. The bigger one, remember it's um, the larger one of the two. Um, that goes at the bottom, so remember that. So the last one to be taken out now. We go. There we go. That's it. Those are taken out. So we put that on the floor. The bracket, and there's that fourth screw. Okay, now so what I want to try and do is take obviously take out um, this panel. Um, I want to remove this panel here. So uh, what I presume I've never done, I've never done this before. So what I presume I've got to do is um, over here is um, take this apart like this. Try and get a spatula tool, preferably a plastic one. I mine's a metal one. Slot it in between this panel. The back panel and uh, the screen and uh, slot it in and then just go around and then apply some pressure up um, you want to want to pull this down like that so that this lifts up And uh, what you want to do is work your, your way around it like this. If that works.
well, I'm just going to go to the other side and uh, and uh, place my splatter just all in between the back panel and the screen and push up. Ship like that. Um, and just noticed another screw that you definitely need to take out. Just that screw there. At the moment it's just the one screw holding it down. So um, that definitely needs to come out. Otherwise, you won't be able to pull the whole thing out. So, push up again. No spatula at all. Try and work my way around this time, around the uh, the perimeter. That's it. So uh, you want to put it in like this, down, and then you want to pull up the tool to release um, to separate the two. Work your way around. Try and be careful of where you place the uh, the metal tool, just in case you don't put it on the board, like um, put any pressure on the board and ruin the small, many small components that might be. There we go. go so that's the hard drive there that's the fan uh, that's the board that's the fan that's the board and uh, with all the ports there connected to the board and that's your hard drive that we want to remove that's one screw Second screw. Take the four screws out on the hard drive. I mean, you want to. What you want to do here, you want to. Uh, first, to replace the drive, you want to uh, pull this out, but it's screwed in here. Um, So you've got two screws, one, two, these need to come out in order to pull out the brackets, the enclosure uh, that's holding in the hard drive. So that's one screw come out, second, kind of rushing this because it's a Sunday so I don't spend too much time on it. Goes aside. So there's the hard drive you want to uh, remove that sheet, uh, that metal foil, 
12 sheep to paper out and you want to just uh, gently push it out of the sorter and power slots like that so this is our drive here we want to put in the x500 or one of these before they're very good one terabyte um, Much, much faster than the conventional hard disk drives. Much lighter, well, <laughs> 10 times lighter, to be honest. Um, so what we want to do is want to put this back on here again. Um, want to use the same screws. the same exactly the same screws on even though it's much much lighter you don't really need you don't really need this bracket to be honest with you um it's so light Let's put the screws back in And uh, yeah, that's the right way in. So you want to then you want to do is um, so if you could see the slots there. You got um, two. You want to. You got. You want. You want to. You want to get your hard drive and slot it in this way, um, like this. Wide the wider port at the top. Make sure it's that way around. The power port at the top starts on the on the bottom. You want to uh, slot it in that way. In push it in quite firmly, uh, and then you want to put the last two screws on here. One, two. So let's do that. And then that's that's the hard drive's put in. What you've got to do is put the panel back on. Um, and then that's done. Um, it's going to clean out the fan, to be honest, um, over here. And then uh, I'll put the panel back on. So I may as well just show. Uh, may as well just show you um, that if you can manage to do that. Uh, clean out the fan. You can see the heat sink comes right underneath this. I'm hoping I don't have to take this out in order to take out the fan, separate the fan from the uh, from the heat sink. Separate the fan from the uh, copper. 
uh, call assistant. So yeah, it's just the fan is uh, So try and untangle the wires here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to um, just going to I'm just tracing the power cable there. Got it coming. It's the uh, the multicolored red, yellow, and black cable that runs all the way through here and. Runs all the way through along here to the left and into the board there. So I have to try and take that out. Try and use a tool if possible because you don't really want to pull on the wires. Because um, that might separate the wires from the, from the connector. Right, so I can't seem to uh, take that out like that. So I've got this tool, prong tool I call it. I'm just going to do it like this way. It's amazing, this tool. Just put it against the two sides like that. Grips the two sides, press, and should remove them out. There we go. Sorted. I'm just going to untangle these wires from the uh, hooks. Like so. So I can clean the fan out. Just the fan because as you can see the um that's not really very dirty. There's no dust usually there's usually on laptops a blanket of dust that's across that. There's a bit of fluff, but I wanna try and sort that out. Okay, I'll be back after a tick. So as you can see I've cleaned cleaned out this uh this fan over here best as I can um, clean that out and um, yeah I'm gonna put the panel back on
So now I'm going to put the panel back on. Back panel, put that back on. So all the screws back on. Uh, remember this screw that screws down the back panel. Put that in first. Followed by um, followed by the four screws in the bracket. Remember that the bigger screws go at the bottom, the bottom holes. Fourth and final screw. And then you want to pull in the, uh, the rubber studs. That's it. Now your computer is ready to uh, to load on your operating system. Mine's on um, in order to uh, install on the blank drive. Mine's uh, on here. Right, so. I plugged in my uh, my operating system uh, ISO installed a flash drive to install my operating system and in order to boot onto my uh, to my new hard drive
So this is the uh, the Windows 10 setup. Select your United Kingdom or your uh, or your own country. Obviously, click on Next. Install now. Uh, accept the license and next and uh, you want to do custom install windows in windows install windows only so it's this option and uh, 931 that's the when you get your hard drive one terabyte the one i is one terabyte was always less just under what it says so it's actually 931.5 gigabytes i don't want to partition this but you can do by um, clicking on new and choosing your, this is in megabytes, so you wanna uh, decrease that, it'll halve that number if you wanna split it 50-50, part two, uh, two drives under one physical drive, or even create as many partitions as you want, uh, that makes up that full, uh, full one, 931 and a half gigabytes. I don't wanna do that, I'm just gonna click on next. And it's going to go ahead and um, copy the files, install the features, and all, and finish up. So what I'm going to do while that's uh, running is um, I'll probably uh, I'll probably go and, go and just go and make a quick cup, cup of coffee. That's going to take probably f uh, five minutes uh, at the most to do that. Right, so I've got my cup of coffee and biscuit. Mm. That's finished, and it didn't even take five minutes. Click on the United Kingdom. Click on yes. Your keyboard is set to US. Want to stick with that? Yeah. United Kingdom. Yes. You also type with another Obviously, you're going to um, want to uh, <clears throat> apply it to your own country settings. Keep going. Uh, no, I don't want a second keyboard layout. Skip. Now let's get you connected to a network. That way you can get updates, apps, and cat videos as soon as possible. How about the first one on the list? So this computer is for somebody else. So I'm on. <clears throat> clicking. I don't have internet because otherwise they connect to my internet, my router, then. It's going to ask me for the user account, login account and password, which I don't, I don't want to call them up and request. I'm just going to click on, on um, I don't have internet. Obviously, for yourself and your own computer, you're going to click on your connect. You go on next and you, now type your credentials. and then you put in your, um, and then you put in your, your relevant uh, Microsoft account. But I don't want to do that. I just realised this is touch screen. Oh my goodness. Is it touch screen? No, it's not. But it was. Mm -hmm. I don't have internet. Just so you know, connecting to a network Continue now. Continue with, um, with limited setup. Type what you want to name your account. Claire. Okay, I presume it's that Claire. Um, next. Okay. Now type a no pa password. If you don't want to set a now password, you just click on next without typing anything. Use your location to help you with directions, weather, and more. Yes, may as well say yes. So I'm gonna turn that off. That um, uh, Cortana. That voice is actually a Cortana. You can accept from a device generally as well. So um. That enables you to find your uh, dev a device's location. Now, if you lost your your device, for example, um, if you lost your computer, you lost your phone, then this one enable and it can connect your phone to your computer. Um, your your presume your computer can find your phone. Accept. 
and the client network. Yes, there, there's the full falsified um, diagnostic data when something goes wrong with your computer. Um, then it sends a diagnostic report back to the servers to help them um, prevent the problem or fix the problem uh, in the future. Accept. Yes. Yes. A lot of these. Yes. And um, accept on accept Katana. So now it's going to um, initialize and uh, boot into the desktop, getting everything ready to do that, loading up services and necessary pro uh, Windows operating system programs services. Okay, so it's booted into Windows. That's the beauty of the um, solid state drive. Um, with a look at the conventional hard disk, it's much, much faster. Um, so yeah, that's done. I'm just gonna connect my, net, my uh, router now. No. Uh, and there we have it. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope it has helped you a lot with your own computer. This will work for any computer, basically. This the second part of this uh, video will help any any um, anybody on the software side. But um, if you find 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 this video very useful, please like, subscribe, um, and comment if you like, and uh, that will help me out so so much. Um, hope just like I hoped I helped you today. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great day and week ahead. Thank you.